Wow, look at this, you guys. This is so beautiful. Look at that. What a cool statue of a rhino. <gasps> and what a cool actual rhino. Look at those beautiful southern rhinos. Oh, and I love the tiles and the colors. Everything is just so vibrant and beautiful. <gasps> and is that a finnick box, you guys? You guys, I think I just saw the finnick box. And is this? <gasps> Be still my heart. Are those baby meerkats? Okay. We're gonna have so much to look at. This is going to be so exciting. And you guys, welcome. Welcome to Once in a Blue Moon in El Darar Bazaar, where we are sinking our way into the newest of the Planet Zoo packs, the African pack. And this one, my friends, is going to be all about four new habitat animals. I think that the statues and the beautiful decorations, like this amazing rhino statue, and look at this. This Fennec Fox! Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute! I love it, I love it, I love it! I wish I could do something like that in like zoo crafting. And look at the meerkats! Oh my gosh, there's another Fennec Fox too! Oh, okay. So if the Fennec Fox, the meerkats, the rhino don't give away some of the animals that we're going to be encountering, never fear, because we're going to be looking in at more animals in just a second. And there's also one new habitat species that's going to be very busy cleaning up after any of the... um the the poo the piles of poo that our animals are going to be leaving behind because it's a dung beetle we'll be calling we'll be talking about that guy in a little bit as well but for now let's just bask in the wonders of this oasis this is the brand new timed scenario that also releases with the pack you guys can find it live on steam right now just waiting for you to be able to bring home some of the adorable new animals and this amazing new architecture Look at how pretty this is! I I really had no idea that I loved, loved, loved these paths, but I do! Oh, this just looks so cool! Like, the, you just took a bunch of shattered pottery and repurposed it into just this gorgeous dynamic path. I love it! Little kid, I hope you love it too! How are, how are you doing, kiddo? How are you doing? He wants food! He wants a milkshake! That's adorable! But all right, guys, so we are here in the time scenario because you can get a little statue if you manage to win it. So, of course, I'm super duper interested about that. And because I thought it would be a great way to see what the sets could look like when you're actually diving into the new African animal pack. But that also means that we need to go ahead and we need to see the actual animals. So before we see what the time scenario wants from us, since, you know, we never managed to complete these things on time anyway, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to this beautiful oasis bazaar whoops we're just diving into the oasis part of the bazaar there let's back up a little bit here we go but let's introduce ourselves to what this beautiful oasis has to offer and then we're going to see how we can help out the people here who are doing their best to try to survive in this vast very sadly truly oh my gosh oh my gosh this vast and very sadly lacking in trees world what on earth? Oh my goodness, no wonder this is an oasis. There's nothing else out there. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how these people are getting here, but they need to have proper food and drink and rest before they head back out on whatever journey they're going on. And hopefully we can give them a little bit of an education about the amazing animals you can find in South Africa as well. So let's go ahead and check out those animals, starting with the rhino. Because that's where these guys are. Hello, you two. So we have two southern white rhinos over here. One is Simangle, which is quite an interesting name. And the other is Javen. Oh, wow, what a cool name. And they're just, oh, the power's been cut. Oh, dear, we'll focus on that in just a second. Right now, we've got to cool over the animals. Oh, look at you two. Simangle and... Javen, and we'll rename these guys after some of you in just a minute here, but I want to spend a little bit of time kind of surveying the area. All right, we've got some beautiful, gorgeous grasses that lead to over here, which seems to be an adorable little place for the keepers to rest and collect bananas from. I am bananas for these designs. This is so cool. Look at the cute little flowers. Oh, here is our quarantine. Here is the vet tucked up against a sand dune. I didn't even know I would like that. What the heck is back here? Let's go run across the sand and see what's like all the way back here. It's outside of the zoo? What? 
It looks like something from Star Wars. It's outside of our zoo. So I wonder if it's some sort of like ruins. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. There's this tunnel at the back. That's so neat. Where's this tunnel lead? Who made this tunnel? Wow, this tunnel's really nice. How do I build a tunnel like this? This looks a lot better than all the tunnels I've ever made. And look at how you just walk in. Oh, this fountain is so cool. Oh, I love, look, do you, do you see? Do you guys see all of these really cool plates just up on the side like this? Oh my gosh, it's the cutest little bazaar. I love this. You guys know these these are the exact types of things I'm always trying to build in all of our Planet Zoo adventures. And here they are just waiting for us to discover. Look at the way they're reflecting the sunlight. Oh, the lantern and the tassels. Okay, I'm totally enchanted with this. Also, was that an adorable little stand? Oh, it's a fruit stand. Oh, I love it. I love it so much, so much, so much. Oh, and I love these gigantic feathers. That's just so beautiful. Okay, this pack has some of my favorite architecture and designs already. I can promise you guys that. Wow, okay, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. But where are the other animals? Let's go ahead and see if we can find any. All right, there's some over here. Wait, wait, is this it? Is this, <gasps> the meerkats, you guys. We've got meerkats over here. No, come back, little one. I've got to watch you. Oh my gosh. 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 We actually have the meerkats. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the little tail. Look at the way that they're looking around. Like, oh man, is it safe here? I've got a triple check. They've got all these little spots they've dug. Hi, little guys. Are you looking for scorpions to nibble? Maybe some dung beetles? Oh, you're not afraid of the people at all, all you. Yeah, it, like, in real life, I have met a few meerkats in zoos. Spoilers, they're extremely bitey, so you should never be lured by their little cuteness to think that you want to touch them. Don't ever touch a meerkat. They're going to bite you. They're going to look at your fingers, and they're going to go chomp. Look at that face. That is the face of someone who wants to eat your fingers. Oh, look at them stand up and do the little card motion. <laughs> I cannot wait to see their babies. Oh, my gosh. We're going to give them names. We're going to see what their babies are up to. How do I see when they dig? I want to spend time figuring out, like, wait, is that a baby? No, 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 it's just two meerkats. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, I love them. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and it's night here in our zoo now? This is so cool. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, I kind of like how you can see into where they're, like, preparing the food for the animals in here. I, for one, as a guest, would be, like, right up there staring as hard as I could because I love seeing how different zoological facilities are able to set themselves up and take good care of the animals. And now let's actually come and visit with the Fennec Fox, who I believe is the last of the animals located here uh, and who apparently is extremely popular. All right, little Fennec Fox, where are you? Fennec, oh, yes. Oh, and look at you, you're so cute. You guys, we have Fennec Foxes now. <laughs> Can you imagine what their little cubs are going to be like? They're gonna be so cute. I can't wait to be able to tell you guys more about why Fennec Foxes have those big giant old ears, the largest of any of the ears on a canid species when you do ear to body ratio. We'll talk more about how they do like coming out at night too. An active Fennec Fox at night is not an unusual thing to see because it's a lot cooler as evidenced by the fact, I mean, look around here. As evidenced by the fact that there's like nothing to shade you from the blistering hot sun out here. Basically, they love coming out at night to do their hunting. We'll talk more about that too. But all right, so let's wrap up our little tour of the oasis and then we'll see what's actually wanted from us. Oh, that's such a cool little kiln. What's actually wanted from us. Oh, look at this doorway, what the heck? When it comes to completing this timed scenario. Oh, wow. Any other animals? I don't think there's any other animals. These really look like places that nobody's in, but we could potentially have someone move in here. We've got some nice little spots that could potentially house perhaps like a crocodilian. A whole bunch of places we could put more thriving shops into. And just a beautiful, beautiful little bazaar that I adore. So, all right, now that we have made our way here, we have spent a night wandering with the many wonderful animals. 
And Lee the meerkat is expecting offspring. Oh my gosh. And we're learning about such amazing things like new meerkat babies on the way. Let's see what we can do to help these people and help this oasis and help all the animals here out. So, El Dorar Bazaar. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? This stunning desert oasis has become a bustling marketplace, and inhabitants have even set up their own zoo to attract more tourists. The issue, the oasis has a less than stable power grid, causing rolling power outages. Your challenge is to grow this zoo into a real tourist trap, increase profits from the shops and stalls, and keep the lights on. All right, so our objectives are have a yearly souvenir profit of two thousand dollars have a yearly drink profit of five thousand dollars have at least nine different habitat species in the zoo with an 85 percent wellness have at least four different exhibit species in the zoo and have 1200 guests in the zoo more attractive animals attract more guests and have an average guest happiness of at least 70 percent all right we can definitely take good care of those things oh there's gonna be baby white rhinos on the way what what yay oh you guys aren't endangered like your northern white rhino cousins but it's always good to see the rhino numbers go up and we're expecting babies all right if that is not just the most amazing thing ever but all right so with some meerkat babies going to be born in october i think we need to go ahead and start hmm Maybe start with giving the meerkats some toys in just a second as the sun rises over this oasis. But speaking of the sun, sun is often used as a way to power your facility. So what's going on? Wait, why is there a power cut? Like, why is there a power cut? Let's figure out what's going on with the power first. Okay, so we have this piece right here. So what's happening with this transformer? It's totally fine, but the power has been cut from it. Now, why is that? Huh. So we need to keep this transformer on in order to get everything lit up. I wonder if we just don't have enough power just yet. The sun might not give us enough power. All right, what do we have? Let's turn off blueprints. And the only thing we have are transformers. Well, maybe we can do something about that with our staff. Potentially researching. We have Vesta Oats. <gasps> Vesta, you're about to get a new name, my friend. Oh my goodness. And let's do some research on some power. That should definitely start helping out. And then let's actually go say hello to Vesta because she's going to be like the hero of the day. Let's see. Oh, that's Veda. So we want Vesta Oats. Important alert requires attention. Wait, Anley is about to have babies. What? Ugh. Okay, we need a new staff room where Vesta will be able to go ahead and like do some research. And the meerkat babies are about to be born. Offspring are imminent. Oh, we need to rename this like meerkat now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rename this meerkat. Um, actually in honor of one of my favorite meerkats ever. This is gonna be flower, you guys. From the meerkats from Meerkat Manor. And where is she? Oh, I can't go into her little hole with her. She's just hiding in her little den. Is she giving birth to babies like right now? How many babies is she going to have? So Flower is actually the alpha female of the meerkat group. So she has another mate that we'll rename to one of your guys' names in just a minute here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten meerkats in this population. And as you can see, they're actually totally fine with that, which makes me very happy because it indicates that we can expect to have Mondo meerkat babies. Oh, I think we just had some new babies. Maybe, maybe, maybe. How many social group size can we have for our meerkats? <gasps> we can have 30, up to 20 males, up to 20 females. And Flower, Flower's had offspring. Wait, Flower, how did... <laughs> of course, that's how she got over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was standing at this hole, like waiting for Flower to come out. That's not how meerkats work, you guys. <laughs> They have vast underground warrens that connect all of these different entrances. So of course she could pop out wherever she wanted to be. That was so silly of me. But we've got baby meerkats now. 
Flower just had three babies. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna name these babies after some of you guys. So this little female is going to be Bunny from a random comment. And Bunny, thank you so much for joining us in our previous Planet Zoo episodes. But I am now rolling the random comment generator, plucking up some of your guys' names from previous Planet Zoo episodes. If you would like to become a little baby meerkat wandering around, then all you guys need to do is leave a comment down below and we can see how your life plays out here in our beautiful new zoo. Also, they're so cute. They're so cute. Why are they so freaking cute? Oh my gosh. And then we have a little boy who's going to be named Quasar. Quasar, welcome. Welcome to the little the little pack. And then we've also got Silver from Silver Foxes. Whoops, that's Silver. Silver, there we go. Oh, look at the babies run. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm doomed. Oh, you guys, look at these precious little ones. I love meerkats so much. They have amazing, dynamic, fascinating group, social groups. And I, I am a sucker for like social groups and in, in animals. I find social groups, especially ones that are as big and as complex as a meerkat social group, to be just utterly fascinating to learn about they inspire me so so freaking much i love this meerkat baby i want to spend basically my whole day down here with this meerkat baby but as you can see we do have things that we need to do in the zoo so let's go ahead and get an accessible staff room put down maybe right over here because this is an empty house we can repurpose for that purpose so we can start going ahead and training up and actually let's do any blueprints and let's actually try, let's see, South America. No, 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 we would want African themed. I think African themed would be what we're looking for. And we can put down a, we need a mechanic hut. So the mechanic, African workshop, there we go. Oh geez, does that match? Hang on one second. Is this a new one? I don't remember there being giant chains. Oh my gosh, that's kind of hilarious. Just gigantic chains. You know what? We're gonna go with something else. We're gonna just do the base. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's just grab the base for our... Oh gosh, it's been a while. Our workshop. And Ooh, the North African! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, we're gonna put down a North African workshop. And we need to find a... Oh, this is a good spot for it, I think. This is such a cute little spot. Oh my goodness. Right down here right by all these rocks. We'll throw a couple rocks under them so that it blends in a little bit better. There we are. And then we should start having some research on different power options coming up pretty soon here. So we can try to do even better by the people who live in the oasis and also by the meerkat babies. And speaking of meerkat babies, let's go add in some meerkat toys. All right, where are our little meerkats? Oh, look at them go, you guys! I still haven't figured out like how they are, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How they're using their little holes yet. Are the meerkats hungry? The meerkats are hungry! All right, let's get another keeper in here as well who can go ahead and maybe just be dedicated to taking care of the meerkats. So we're gonna have Keeper Savannah! Oh, Savannah, hi! All right, so we're going to set up a new work zone. And it's just going to be like right here. And also wherever we can put you for rest. Is that a keeper hut too? Okay, that's a keeper hut as well. Where's somewhere for you to rest? Those are all keeper huts, huh? Wait, animal trade center, keeper hut, keeper hut. Um, Is this a rest spot? Staff room, there we go. So we'll do staff room for rest. And then you're just going to, Savannah, you're going to be the meerkat. Because I think the meerkat zone and the meerkat keeper. Because I think the meerkats are going to be quite prolific. Even though only Flower, the main female, is allowed to have babies. And we're probably going to need to take good care of them. So, Savannah, here we go. We're going to have you be meerkat researcher. 
And Savannah, in case you guys didn't know, is actually one of our patrons. And what we do every time we start up Adventures in Planet Zoo are that all of you guys get a chance to become the animals and many other surprises throughout our entire like zoos. And all of our keepers, all of the staff who really make everything possible, who really make it so that we can have the dreams that we dream, these are all of our patrons who support us over on Patreon. So Savannah has been one of our patrons for a very long time and now she has come back into our lives as a keeper and hopefully she'll return to the meerkats pretty soon right now she's wandered off to go look at the um the rhinoceros which i'm sure is going to be fine and i'm sure everything's going to be fine we're going to get this eventually right right huh maybe for now i should put down like another maybe another generator of some type just maybe that might be a good idea is it just the ugly generator I can put down? Unfortunately so, friends. Unfortunately so. All right. Well, we actually seem to be, well, are we decent on power? No, look at that. We do have some power issues, huh? Well, maybe if I sneak another generator in here, let's just quietly come down and then sneak one in. There's been a power cut, but why? Why? What has facilitated the power being cut? I'm very curious. I wonder why we have rolling blackouts. Maybe it's because we live in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's take a little peek at that again. See? Interesting, interesting. Maybe we need more mechanics? Here, let's come over and maybe put in... Hmm. Into... Okay, this is actually where the rhinos stay. So I don't want to put this in the rhino spot. But maybe we can generate more power. Hmm. Here, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to adapt and overcome, and we might put like some rocks over here to hide this in a little bit. But let's try putting in a new generator. And we'll see if that starts to help us. This is just like a temporary generator, hopefully solving that issue. No, no, it really hasn't, because it can't reach over here. And did the gener or the transformer just go out? No, the power got cut. Interesting. How does one get the power cut? Routine visits every three months, please. Okay. And then why is the power cut on a whole bunch of these doors, huh? Interesting. Wait, are these like lanterns? Huh. Okay, well, we're ha we'll have to get to the bottom of that mystery. But meanwhile, the meerkats need us. So, all right, guys, we're here. We are here, and we are going to start trying to take good care of all of our new little animals, including the baby meerkats. Oh, there's so many of them in here. Oh, my gosh. We might need to have a few of them be adopted out just so that, like, the well, we'll see. We got to make sure we can feed everybody, but I think we'll do okay. And we should probably do... Is that a watering can? Oh my gosh, that's so precious. I think that's new. But we're gonna take good care of them. I know it's going to be a bit of a challenge to face the whole challenge, but we're gonna find a way to do it. But all right, friends, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure with our teeny tiny little meerkats. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time as we continue to rescue the Oasis. Bye-bye.